James is a mixed traffic engine. He can pull both freight cars and coaches. He's proud of his smart red paint, and so is his driver. Everyone says you brighten up their day, James. One morning, James whistled loudly at the other engines. Look at me. I am the smartest, most useful engine on the line. Rubbish, replied Thomas. We're all useful. Sir Topham Hatt says so, and he's head of the whole railway. You know what, James? added Percy. What? replied James. You're getting all puffed up. James huffed away. Later, he was still boasting. I'm the pride of the line. I saw you pulling freight cars, snorted Gordon. You're only a goods engine. I pull coaches, too. Not as much as I do. But Sir Topham Hatt has plans for me. James was only making this up, but Gordon believed him. What plans? Uh, wait and see. Oh, dear, he thought. Now what'll I do? Thomas was shunting shining new coaches. Good morning, James. Are those coaches for me? Asked James, hopefully. No, these are for Gordon's Express. I'll fetch your freight cars next. But James was going to play a trick on the other engines. Actually, Thomas, I'm taking the coaches. Sir Topham Hatt asked me to tell you. What about the cars? asked Thomas. Uh, give them to Gordon. Come on, Thomas, said his driver. Orders are orders. So when James's driver returned, James was coupled to the coaches and he puffed away. Thomas returned with the freight cars. And a few minutes later, Gordon arrived. Where's the express? Thomas told him about James. And so here are your cars. Gordon was very cross, and so was his driver. Wait till Sir Topham Hatt hears about this. Meanwhile, James was enjoying himself enormously. What a clever plan! What a clever plan! He chuffed. Then he saw Sir Topham Hatt. Some jokes are funny, but not this one, James. You have caused confusion. Yes, sir, said James. You will now stay in your shed until you are wanted. The other engines teased James. I wonder who'll be pulling the express today, said Gordon. I expect it'll be you, replied Henry. James is stuck in the shed for being silly. James felt sad. Next morning, he went back to work. Hello, whistled Thomas. Good to see you out and about again. I'm sorry I tricked you, said James. Are these my cars? Yes, replied Thomas kindly. They are pleased to have you back. James set off to the harbor with his train of freight cars. He bustled about all day, pushing and pulling them into place. Time to go home now, James, said his driver at last. No cars or passengers, just we two. But his driver was wrong. Excuse me, called a man. I have a meeting with Sir Topham Hatt, and I mustn't be late. May I ride back with you? Of course, replied James's driver. Then he whispered to James. This gentleman is a railway inspector. James was most impressed. He steamed along the line as smoothly and quickly as he could. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting on the platform, and the railway inspector greeted him warmly. This clever engine gave me a splendid ride. You must be proud of him. Yes, indeed. Once again, you are a really useful engine.